When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Well, I don't know exactly what it is that I did, but it seems that I may have broken the game. So I'm going to restart, because they still seem to be in the game, and begin this again, try to get out of this place permanently. Begin the game again. Actually, I wonder if I can... No, never mind. Okay. Well, that was odd. I guess let's... Go out again and all of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? I don't Stanley know. Decided to go to I'm the not Stanley. I don't know if I'm memory. Stanley. What should I name the narrator? I think I'm gonna name him. Um, what's a good name? Uh, Giles. That's his name. Giles. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He no, door I'm not going to fall left. for your tricks. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first. Just Can you not alert. remember what I've done? I certainly remember what I've done. Wow. Yes. This room. What a beautiful room. What a gorgeous, gorgeous room. Yes, Thank goodness it. Stanley had taken this detour on his way to the meeting room. Life <laughs> without having experienced this room was now too horrible even to consider. What if I just go... Up? Eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. I'm not going out that way. Don't you get it? I'm not following your directions. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize yeah, that yeah, yeah, your trust you. in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Yeah, that's bullshit. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone what? you've forgotten about. Almost Please, fell off. Stop trying to make every decision Jeez. by yourself. Now, I wonder I'm what happens if they me. fall off. I'm asking for I said I would die. Um, let's just test that. But in his eagerness oh my to God. that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Right? Well, I'm back here. I'm not dead. So nothing seems to affect me in Just this crazy, weirdo this door, reality. Stanley thought to himself, that's all I need. If I can make it through this door... I can make it through them all. Is it me or is he saying different things? Are you actually changing your dialogue, Giles? When Stanley came to a set of no, two I'm opening doors. the right. Or I'm going through the, the right door. This was not the way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I don't care about this room. The lounge was sublime. A work of art. What was it about this room that called so deeply and so personally? He is definitely saying different its grace, things this time. Its subtle charm. No. Stanley knew it was something deeper. Something what? darker. What the hell is in this room? Why is it so interesting? I don't understand. Yes. Really, really ah. worth it being. But eager to get back to business. Stanley took the first open door on No, I'm not going through there. Fuck you, Giles. I don't care. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Going on the lift. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you... All this time? Well, that's bullshit. Someone you've been you were complaining about me ruining your you story forgotten? before. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. I'm making the decisions. You're not telling me otherwise. I don't know who she is, and I'm not going to fall into the trap. I'm going through this again. I'm unplugging the phone. To let her back into your life. Oh, she's busy waiting. Nope. That's her standing. 
You need to be the one to do this. To nope. Oh, no, 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 no. Unplugged it. Did you just unplug the phone? Yes, I just unplugged well, the phone. That wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. Well, the dialogue's a little bit off in the subtitle. No, so, I mean, didn't even know what day. was possible. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not I'm not doing that. It's actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? Yeah, I'm not Stanley, not Stanley. fucker. You're a real person. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. How did this I even get in here? I'm not correct Stanley. Incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this you're game... You're not writing my wrong. actions, you clearly. Wrong Unless choices, someone's you writing your actions. Entirely. In which case, it's you're probably writing mine as well. Ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decisions. Just let me out of here. Did you not grasp? The severity of the situation. Well, God, am I gonna have, have to? Kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a minute ah, so we can educate you properly watch this on safe decision okay. making in the real I'll world. I'll just skip right Please through this. This helpful instructional video. Ah, welcome back. What makes you think Never you're a real person, this Giles? Begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction, but not to worry. Now that you're probably well, that's your own damn fault, as you seem to have written it improperly or some shit. Just a few minutes ago, and see what the correct thing to do would have been. Nope. This way, please. So I'm not making that choice. Getting on this lift. Now that we know your choice is down, for, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine but what if I wanted to die? Dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. I'm gonna tear down this freaking it story this if it's the last thing I do. Deal with reality. I can't seem to get out of here, so you're stuck with me until I get out of here. Wait, what? Come on. Just take me to the choice. I'll get through it. It's a wonderful break there. room. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending. The story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Nope. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Yeah, but Stanley's not aware of the design. story, so he can't right. put the story first, <clears throat> can he? When Stanley came to a I am to aware of the story. Doors, he entered and the I'm putting myself left. first. Nope, I'm going on the right. No! Why did you do that? Quickly. God damn it. Back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. <sighs> Oh, it's ruined. You, yep. I can't believe after everything we talked about that you... My story, you've destroyed my work. Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worth this now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To well, maybe you shouldn't have captured incorrect? me and put me in this story that? then. I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? Oh, I don't know. Let me go first, the answer. Jerk. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. I have to. Damn it. Still here. Oh, up. I'm here. I'm you still too? here. Here in this pile of rubbish. With you. You. Who thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you've run it into the ground. 
Well, my life is the only thing in the world that's mine, and you've taken it. Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't he doesn't understand you, anything. Had He's just a, a world character of you. in your story. You're a child. Oh, my story. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard. Oh? Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> well, last when time Stanley I went through the right door, set of he two open doors, the story. He entered the door on his left. Maybe I need to keep the integrity of the story so that I can get out of it. So I actually went through the left this time instead of the right. Let's see what happens now. Yet there was not a single person here yes. either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Is there another way out? So Coming to a staircase, Stanley shit. walked upstairs to I his can't boss's go down office. This time. Last time I could go down, so it's trying to guide me, I think. Okay, so here is the office. Is there any way out besides the office? What? Stepping inside his manager's office, Stan is once is again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in what? disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. They changed. And beyond all probability, he had <laughs> a passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. Yeah? Hello? Night Shark 115. <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. He spoke it into the receiver right there on the wall. Night Shark 115. Is it not working? What's going on? I'm sorry, is there a problem? You didn't mishear me, did you? Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. Night Shark 115. Okay, do I fine. Do You're this. not going to do it, but you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. Am I, I able to for do this? this one single thing for your re the kind of respect Am I even able Stanley to shows for his choices? He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a well, you led me here. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? <laughs> Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. Whoa. What the fuck is going on now? Is this Stanley, Stanley or is this me? Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? Stanley, please. I... I need you to make a choice. I need you to walk through the door. Are you listening to me? Can you hear me? Is everything alright? Stanley, this is... What important. the hell happened? The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. This narrator's a bit sad. Do something. Anything. This is more important than you can ever know. I need this. The story needs it. So, you hear me? Are you there? 
Are you listening to this? Stanley, are you there? Okay. You take care of me. You need time to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. That's all right. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. I kind of feel it's sorry for him now. How do I get out of here? 